we all know that the Civil War was started right here in Charleston, but today we're going to be talking about nine other interesting facts that you might not know, starting right now. <music> Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Bill Olson with Erie Wilder Realty and welcome back to my channel. Now, if it is your first time here, please go ahead and before we begin, click that little subscribe button and ring that little bell to ensure that you get notified anytime I put out great content about what it's like to live, work, and play right here in Charleston, South Carolina. Now, whether you already live here or you're thinking of relocating here, it's always good to know some great facts for when people come to visit about your great city. Now, if you're relocating here, um, you know, before we begin, there's also a link down below to my relocation guide, um, wherever you're moving from, it's a great resource to get you started to see if Charleston is the right place for you. Now, without further ado, let's get started on these nine interesting facts about Charleston, South Carolina. Number one is that Charleston is identical to Bridgetown in Barbados. This is because Charleston was originally formed as a colony of Barbados. In 1627, the British landed on the Car Caribbean island, and then after running out of resources, they set sail to look for places to expand their sugarcane operations ultimately ending up here in Charleston. Number two, how did Charles Town become Charles Sten? Charles Town was originally named after King Charles II. However, after the Revolutionary War, it wasn't that popular to have towns named after British royalty. So, Charleston was appropriately renamed in 1783. Number three, Edgar Allan Poe was stationed here in the army under a false name. It's true, Edgar Allan Poe, using a false identity in the army, was stationed in Sullivan's Island at Fort Moultrie. It was there that he wrote The Gold Bug, which also takes place on the island. It's a little strange that someone who's known for dark and eerie stories and poems got inspiration from such a sunny, wonderful place like Sullivan's Island. Number four, Charleston is credited to housing the first female American serial killer. Lavinia Fisher and her husband, John Fisher, were housed in the Charleston Old City Jail after being arrested for unspeakable crimes. They were eventually hanged in the jail, and as legend has it, her spirit never left. Over the past couple years, new theories have surfaced that say she actually never killed anyone and it was all a setup. For more on that story, I'll throw a link down in the description. Number five, why are all the porches roofs painted blue? The reason for the blue roofs on porches in Charleston dates back to the Gullah Geechee descendants of American slave planters. They believed that this soft blue would keep away the hates or the evil spirits. The color was chosen to represent water, which they believed these spirits could not cross. The blue ceilings were to trick any of these spirits who might try and enter their homes. Number six. If you've ever taken a stroll after a particularly high tide on Sullivan's Island around Station 30, you may have seen a strange looking structure. This structure is actually called a Panama Mount, which is actually a kind of gun turret that was used in World War II. Number seven, prior to the advances of modern medicine, the holy city was rampant with disease. In the 1750s, a doctor and longtime Charleston resident named John Lining was able to closely study sicknesses, writing the first account of yellow fever in the country. Number nine, the Polly's Island Gray Man. Legend has it that the Gray Man was a gentleman from Charleston who died in a storm on his way to Polly's Island to visit his lover. Now, 
he shows up before major hurricanes to let the locals know that a dangerous storm is coming. He has been spotted before each of the five major hurricanes that have hit the South Carolina coast. And finally, number nine. We've all come to know that New Year's is celebrated on January 1st. However, in Charleston, and all of South Carolina to be exact, New Year's used to be observed on March 25th. It was not until 1752 that this date was changed. That means that 1751 goes down as the shortest year in history at 282 days, beginning on March 25th and ending on January 1st. Well, there you have it, folks. Nine interesting facts about Charleston, South Carolina. I hope you enjoy them. If you know any other interesting facts, please go ahead, drop them in the comments. Uh, I'll be sure to read those. I respond to all the comments. If you do like this video, please give it a little thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, ring that little bell to make sure you get notified anytime I put out great content about what it's like to live, work, and play right here in Charleston. Again, my name's Bill Olson. I'm a local realtor here in the area with ERA Wilder Realty. So if you have any questions about the real estate market or just what it's like to live here in Charleston, please don't hesitate to reach out, call, text, email, send up the smoke signals, whatever your preferred method of communication is. Um, don't forget to follow me on all of my social channels. I've got the links down below. Uh, see some great content there as well. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.